Oh crap, I forgot my peanut butter. Or is that almond butter? It doesn't matter. Back to the repack. What's up today guys? So our adventure video today is going to be packing snacks for an adventure. So normally when I go out of town, this is exactly what I'm wearing. Something really comfortable for the car, tinted moisturizer, hair thrown up, not a lot of effort put into the makeup because you're trying to be as comfortable as possible, right? So when we go out of town and we want to eat healthy, we're trying to make our food as comfortable as possible as well. So we wanna take it from our house. One, just to save a little bit of money. Two, we do like to stop at 7-Eleven a lot, but there's not normally anything healthy that you can get there. Now, don't get me wrong, my kids are not packing salads on road trips, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit about some healthy snacks or at least some travel, what's the word, um, travel possible snacks. Is that what you wanna call it? Um, so, we need first a cooler, obviously, ta-da, and my idea of some snacks that we will pack and actually eat are going to be stuff that's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot of prep involved or packing. Now, we also want to be careful as far as what we take and how we take it. For example, things that are in your fridge they're gonna stay 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower to keep um, out bacteria and germs for safety purposes, obviously. I'm sure that you guys know this. So once we take it out and we have things that start to heat up, especially on really hot days, like if we're going to the beach or the pool, then 40 degrees Fahrenheit and between 140 degrees Fahrenheit, this is what we call the danger zone. So we have to make sure that we keep our foods cool enough so that we don't start um, you know, letting them grow bacteria and stuff like that. So, what are we gonna take when we go on road trips or beach days? Let's see. All right, right off the bat, pulling out of my pantry. My daughter loves these. My kids love to share these little pre-packaged crackers. I always take some almond butter with me. Sometimes, depending on how particular I am, I will actually scoop it out and put it in little individual containers. That way I keep myself from eating way too much. Um, also, goldfish is a non-perishable item that I can easily take with me. Now, before you guys jump on my judgy bandwagon, I realize that these things are all like really not that nutritionist, okay? I'm like, but again, like I said, I have little kids and I gotta do what I gotta do most of the time because they're not packing salads, especially on road trips. Now, they do eat healthy, you know, bananas, apples, green beans, etc. but on road trips, am I gonna take all that stuff? No. So today, I am going to be taking cucumbers, watermelon, and a couple of drinks for my husband and I. So I'm going to pack all this stuff down and I'm gonna put it in our cooler and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. That's basically going to be the easiest thing for me to pack right now. Now, once I take it out of the refrigerator, you're going to have to consider, normally you're taking stuff in the cooler when it's summertime. You're going out of the house to the beach or on adventures, on vacation, and you've got to take stuff out of your fridge to go with you in your car. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to try to keep that food as cool as possible. So we're going to start stuffing ice packs in here to keep it as cool as possible. Take that out. 
Now, obviously, I only have a few cold things in here. This is just going to be a quick little road trip. We're going to close it up. Ta-da, here we go. It's all packed for our small, simple road trip. Now, some rules that you might want to follow are going to be, again, trying to keep your food. And if you want to be really, really anal and actually take a thermometer with you, go for it. More power to you. I personally am not going to do that because that's insane. But... I am going to try to do my very best to keep my family safe from foodborne illnesses. So we put the ice packs in there, try to keep it as cool as possible because once you take it out of the refrigerator, especially on a hot day, then your food starts to heat up because the outside temperatures are so much hotter. So when you take food with you in your car, don't put it in your trunk. Put it inside the car compartment with you where the AC is on to help keep it cooler longer. And then if you go outside, obviously you can bury your cooler deep in the sand. It will keep the body of the cooler cooler. <laughs> That's funny. Um, keeping it cooler so that your food will stay good for a longer amount of time. And then thirdly, you can also cover it with a blanket or a towel um, for extra insulation as well. Now, your food on a regular basis, once out of the fridge, is going to stay good for right around an hour, depending on how cool you keep it, depending on the cooler that you have, depending on the precautions that you take, etc., etc. I know that there's all kinds of coolers out there that are going to do awesome things, but I personally don't have $500 to spend on a good cooler. So, normally, on a regular basis, this is what we have to work with. There's all kinds of different cooler bags. There's all kinds of different insulated packages, and you do the very best that you can. But on a general basis, this is what we're working with. So an hour worth of time will keep your food at its very best, and then within a two-hour time frame, you can probably put your food back into the fridge, depending on what it is. Also, when you're packing, if you're going to pack your food with ice on the bottom of the cooler, food in the middle, and then more ice on top, then you're going to get better results in keeping your food um, fresh as well. And a very full cooler will give you more benefits than a partially full cooler. So if you have ice on the bottom and then you have food on the top and you still have space in your cooler, fill it full of more ice. Again, fuller cooler, cooler food. Ta-da! Oh crap, I forgot my peanut butter. Or is that almond butter? It doesn't matter. Back to the repacking. Watching the video today, I hope that you travel safe, keep your food safe, and there's lots of plenty of other options that I am going to post at the end of the video as far as travel snacks. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I appreciate all of your support. That's how we can keep doing these videos. So until next time, adventure on!